Hey everyone and welcome back to Lords of the Fallen. So, before we carry on, there's a couple of things that I want to do. Uh, I want to see if I can upgrade my equipment. Which I cannot, that's totally fine. Okay, from here. I mean, taking that to 59 is fine. Uh, there's actually a quest line that I forgot to wrap up and that was Bucket Lords. So, we want to come all the way back to the Ale House. We are just going to run all the way back. Uh, we're going back to where we fought the... Uh, the Ruiner as well as the Face. But we're going to go past it. So just ignore all these enemies. We're going to come up the ramp here. Alright, and this building is now open. Pick up the Gilded Bucket. Now, if you get to the get that weapon to plus 10, it'll also get uh, special moves. So, quite cool little thing there. That is it. It's on our way to the... Not the final boss, but the second final boss. Where do we need to go? So, Brahma's Castle. Alright, of course, if you've been playing along and you want to complete her questline, don't forget to give her the Swaddle Cloth. Alright, if you want to fight her as a boss fight, don't give her the Swaddle Cloth. Uh, from here, we want to equip the Elegant Perfume. Now, you don't have to use this in battle. In fact, 9 times out of 10, I forget. Um, and, of course, I'm going to swap around my stuff because I had it on a more difficult fight for the last guy. What did we have here? It was... That one. Um, I believe that's all I changed up. That is fine. Cool. Now, remember, we do have to die for this fight. Um, yeah. Because we need to summon Kukujin to complete her quest line. So, coming into this here. Alright, he's just going to be sitting in the corner for a bit. That's what you want to do. Me, personally, I'll just throw a storm over him to sort of agitate him a bit. Alright, he'll throw attacks at us, so you just want to be careful of his movements. Alright, from here he'll get all pissy, sneeze a whole bunch of, like, swords at you. Alright, the jump here, you really just want to dodge towards it. This attack here... It will hit you with the spikes under his arm, so you want to delay that second dodge, because otherwise you'll get hit like I did. Just like that. Oh, and there's a third attack. Alright, you can stagger him out of that crap, so it's fine. So this can be real de deadly. The biggest thing you need to watch out for in his second phase, he'll do a lot of like explosion outward AoEs. Worse than that, so it'll be like Inferno based almost. Um, there's one where it's two AoEs at the same time. Right. So that was one AoE, and that was just a smash towards the ground. When he's doing his double one, he'll sort of like go into himself and just spray out these AoEs. One, and then a couple seconds, then a second one. It's a, it's a big pain in the butt. Uh, <clears throat> not too difficult as far as bosses go once you sort of get like a summon in there, plus buff up and all that sort of stuff. Um, so that was me just going and whacking the crap out of him, seeing how far I could get without really dodging his attacks. 
I do feel like he has got a bit stronger as far as like a uh, enemy buffs go. Like the first time I fought him, I, I didn't even realize he had half his move set. All right, so Kokujin should be around here somewhere. That's tortured prisoner. Pieta. There we go. Kukujin's on the left. All right. I think this time I'll buff when we go into the fight, like after he's out of his corner. Alright, so from here you can only use this uh, perfume once in the fight, alright? If you use it, it'll just make him go a bit dizzy for a bit. Alright. Just gives you some time to sort of punish him a little bit. Oh, he faked me out, nice. I will melt you. I'll stop it. Okay, so this is grab attack. Thank you, buddy. Right now I'm just sort of playing around, I should really focus a bit more. Alright, this is his AoE, his double AoE. There was that grab. Oh, Kukujin's dead. Alright, this these guys will just like sorta of, Sorry, the swords will sort of come towards you if he carries on doing that crap. But otherwise, like he's down. Alright, now since we gave the tortured prisoner the uh, the swaddle cloth, she's going to repair for a cutscene. I'm going to plant a seed here, just because it makes things a little bit easier. Uh, I may as well go into Umbral. In fact, let's rest. Alright, we'll grab this. Wait for all that to hurry up. Cool. Okay, we're going to come up here. See the tortured prisoner. So my happy is not alone. Oh, thank you. My past is clear, but for both that I, I have known and I, I can use to Alright, so you find out that was his wife all along. Alright. She's just going to go there and disappear for some reason. Uh, we're going to come to the top here. 
and we've got one stigma left to go for this particular ending sequence. I'm sorry. This was all my fault. I just wanted things to be better for us. And forgive me. No, get that away from All right, so we got a uh, Justin's sort of stuff there. So we got his umbral scouring at least. Um, so, anyways, from here, before carrying on any further, I just want to go back and pay Kukujin because I'm not sure whether uh, this would annoy the, annoy her if we carried on with everything. Plus, I've got the Soul Zero as well. Now, in the past, this is actually the moment where I got to and recordings and stuff like that and uh, the recordings twice this is the third time I've tried to do a walkthrough for this game uh, have cut out not recorded the final boss or anything alright so you should receive a trophy for helping her alright um take that to 60 nice all right we'll go back to the seedlings so from here on out uh we are about to talk to Melkia, which is what we have a seed pod for so we need to uh take that back to sky rest So, interact with us here. I am a creature who's but with an op. You only, only, and I why when you can't place you. All right, use Melchior's seed pod. No, Ranger. All right. From here, what we're going to do is go back to Skyrest. Now, I believe this is where things get a little bit uh, not so straightforward in my books. So, we want to interact with this one here. Hand over Harkin's Umbral Parasite. Alright. Now, I think... We rest... If we can't add another Parasite to the wall... I think we need to go back to the mines. I want to try one more thing. Exiting to the main menu. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we'll need to go back to, is it like Mother's Lull or something like that? No, we must need to go back to Mother's Lull. Uh, although... No, we need to Soulflay on Pieta. Okay, so this is where things get a bit hinky with the recording sometimes. Alright, a couple cutscenes will play out. This is very much just a withered version of Pieta. 
all right you can summon help for this and in fact I'd highly recommend it because this is one of the few fights that I struggle with in this game all right these eyeballs are no joke you can summon Kukujin which you don't have to but I'm definitely going to after she kills me All right, so first phase is relatively easy. Very similar to our first encounter with Pieta. Except now, she does a whole bunch of wither crap and she summons clones. Always prioritize those clones over anything. All right, and from here. I believe it's once we enter we can summon Kukujin. Yeah, look at that, cool. Alright. She's gonna do her combo. Unfortunately, Kukujin doesn't last very long. Ooh. You gonna do a slam? There we go. Second one does an AoE. I'm gonna use a Brio Stone. Ah, oh, and use the wrong item, damn it. <clears throat> Alright. Lady, you need to stop that. Oh, she's almost out. Gotcha. Alright, and after that, she should go do a combo and then down for a eyeball burst. In theory. Yep. So we're going to do two storms. And try and avoid this bullshit. Going to use a Brio Oh, I got hit. Brio Stone and that one. There we go. Oh, lady. Come on. You need to die. Thank you.
Oof. Alright, two storms. There we And another one. Cool. Alright, I just need to dodge this holy attack, which is a pain in the butt. <clears throat> but I did it. Ah, oh, and then that thing came. Sorry about always clearing my throat. It um just seems to be a pain in the butt this episode. That is fine. Hi, thank you. All right, now, lady, I need you to get on the floor so we can kill you. All right, and if I can dodge these enough, hopefully that storm kills her. That it did. Nice. One of the more difficult boss fights of this whole game, which is great because that's what a final boss should be. Alright, now before we go anywhere, you really want to come over here to the, uh, the stigma. Alright, this is kind of the last spot that we need to go to, so I'm just going to try and plant a seed somewhere. I don't think we can, so... I'm just going to go back to Skyrest. Nope. Alright, we're going to talk to Molu. We're going to offer Remembrance. And if we go down to Elaine the Starved, you can actually pick up a blue version of Peter's Blade, which is really cool. They have a neat move set together and everything. In fact, I would suggest picking up all her armor. You would need this for the, uh, the Platinum. And if you're going to do the other three, uh, sorry, the other two endings, then you'll you'll get all of these. Chosen bearer of the lamp, like you, I said until her embrace. All right. This is where things can get a little bit hinky, so I will try my best. We're going to hand over Elaine's parasite. Talk to Molu and enter Mother's Lull. Alright, Molu gives himself up to the shrine. Gonna come all the way over here and if the game is going to crash, it's going to crash now. Alright, so we've got Damaros we just pulled off. Alright. We have Grilindi, Grilinda, whatever her name is. feel like this is Melkia. And then we have Molu.
Nice, and there is your umbral ending. So, ah, that was a long ass walkthrough. Um, I really enjoyed that though. From here, you'll have majority of your trophies, at least a good foundation. You'll need to go and do the Radiance playthrough, which is lighting all the beacons. You'll need to go an Inferno playthrough, which will mean not lighting the beacons and just carrying on to the end. Um, other than that, it doesn't get more complicated. It's just simply light the beacons or don't light the beacons and complete the game. Um, however, collecting armor, like all the armor sets and stuff like that, I would use a wiki. Um, just do a checklist of what you have and what you don't have. That will probably be your hardest uh, trophy to get. Otherwise, all bosses, uh, I'll be putting in boss fights after the walkthrough of Damaros, of Kukajin, and of, uh, what was the other one? The Tortured Prisoner there. Uh, so just a couple of little things extra for the walkthrough's sake, uh, plus the, the walkthrough on the Radiance boss. So anyways, um, as always, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the page. I'll see you here next time.